What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the BMW X5. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me. People like you wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. All it is, living in the new world. Man, if you haven't heard this yet. Damn, my man dropped a friggin' truth bomb. <laughs> look out for miners, but don't look out. <laughs> Not just on an island somewhere. Woo! Alright. Let's get into what we got going on with the X5. Um, I know Randy had dropped his video today, and I'm probably going to drop this video at the same time today. Um, on the X5 and um, needless to say the struts have been flawless I've been driving this thing off and on I've been out of town I was in Boston I was in Chicago um, short stop in St. Louis I've been you seeing me flying around the country or whatever um, I had to pick up a car which you guys will get to see in the Chicago area not something I would normally buy it's American um, and it is Ford Ugh. but it should make for some interesting content because it was a basically a brand new small little SUV that got totaled, and um, we'll do we'll we'll have a video coming on that soon, and you guys can guess how I don't I don't, I don't know how this damage happened to the vehicle, but anyways, getting into the X5, um, it's been driving flawlessly. I did clear the codes again with the auto fix. If you guys remember that, the video is here on the channel just a couple videos back. And um, since I have cleared those codes, I haven't got the low power message again. Um, and I haven't had any more check engine lights. So go figure, right? Um, it is raining. Evidently, Hurricane Hillary is here. But don't tell anybody that because I don't see... I see some mist. I'm not even seeing anything uh, significant in terms of... <laughs> actual rain or flooding i've seen it rain worse with just regular rain and flood than what i've seen here you can see i added that clip in from a uh, from dizzle in motion he we're both on the same way to go we're, we're about to go link up and he said the same thing he's like it looks the sky does look crazy but it's just it's not raining it just there's nothing happening so let's get into, and like I said, you can see it up over the mountains where it's crazy, but uh, let's get into the driving. Uh, gas mileage wise, or I should guess I should say diesel mileage, I, I, I don't know. Um, here's what I could tell you. Uh, I'm averaging consistently between 26 to 28, and that's around town of Vegas. Now, to be, to be fair, I'm on 215 and 95 a lot in Vegas. They're kind of highways, so I am running... 60 to 80 miles an hour consistently and maybe that might be why i get the really great mileage but once i get up to speed and i'm just holding my speed you can see even down there you know i'm steadily around 30 miles per gallon it's really not bad I, i've really um i've really enjoyed uh the mileage i get out of this and to be honest I, they're gonna say well diesel is more expensive well, if I had a gas X5, I'd still be putting premium in this, and I'd be right at about five bucks a gallon. Is this guy okay? I thought this car was moving, and he was hanging out of the trunk. You'll see what I'm saying here in a second. Jeez. Up oh, Nissan Altima. Anybody surprised, or maybe that was a Maxima? But anyways, um, 
as far as driving goes and stuff in it since i've cleared those code with the auto fix no issues i've put almost 2,000 miles on it since i've had it granted uh a little over half of those miles were driving it back from oklahoma city but um you know like i said even and even when the low power mode thing pops up it just kind of limits like the car won't go faster than 90 miles an hour not like i need to be driving an x5 faster than 90 miles an hour uh, you can already see i'm already going a little over the speed limit and people are passing me like i'm standing still so um that's just vegas for you but anyways uh it's been running fine um the delete kit has been ordered you guys have been asking me about the delete kit that has been ordered that is situated uh and i am excited to get that done so what is the delete kit basically involve um so it basically involved there's a couple different things you can leave the swirl flaps if you want and you can google all the different things i'm talking to you about now but the uh the swirl flaps are like the biggest problem because they can fail break off and literally fall into the engine and catastrophically catastrophically grenade the engine we don't want that so we're going to delete the swirl flaps we're going to cap all those off um we will delete the EGR and the DPF. Now, I don't know if I have to remove the DPF. I think I can just cap that thing off um, with the EGR and then put the catless downpipe in. And to be honest, I don't know if I need to put the catless. If I don't have to put the catless downpipe in right away, I'm, I'm not doing it for horsepower or speed. I'm literally just doing it for reliability of the truck. Um, so you guys will get to see that. And everybody that I've talked to, I've had people messaging me on Instagram about it um, in my DMs. And I've been on a Facebook group that deals with these. And they're all saying the same thing. Like, hour and a half, two hours, if you're competent. And I'm not, I mean, I'm competent with hand tools and, you know, electric tools. Like, I can take it, I can take the intake off and, you know, do that, do those necessary things. Ordering all new gaskets, even if the gaskets are still good. Um, ordering all new gaskets to get rid of all of that crap and then the thing that's going to be the most expensive on this truck is going to be the tune believe it or not the delete kit is like 250 bucks for everything gaskets and everything included that includes deleting the swirl flaps and then it's literally you know removing the egr coolers all of that crap and then it's literally just tuning it and i haven't really if, you're, if you have an X5 diesel or a 335D, like a car, because they have the same engines, let me know if you've done this process, what tuner you went through. I hear people telling me stay away from them alone because like, it's just problems and crap. And um, I really just kind of want to get the most, the best reliable day-to-day -day tune. I'm not looking to bust quarter mile times. I want a tune on this truck that I can tell with because that's what this thing is going to do. And I want to be able to just drive it daily and get my 25 to 28 miles per gallon. That's literally it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. But uh, anywho, you guys were asking for an update. Hadn't heard me say anything on the truck in well, about a week. And you're like, well, what's going on with <laughs> what's going on with the X5 TK? Did it break? Did it? No, it didn't break. i just been on planes. I've been flying around, buying cars, getting stuff situated. And... For you guys that are asking, I did just hear from Randy, and the title did come in on the Audi S4, so I may have to take another trip out to Oklahoma and pick that up. But first, we got to put a hitch on the X5, and I got to. I'm hoping I can get that delete kit in tomorrow and or the next day. Um, and if that is the case, um, then you know we'll do it. Somebody also asked, "Is that a dream chasing Geo ring?" No, it's not. The lion head ring, it is the same. It does look the same as you see in the merch that I wear from Dream Chasing Geo's channel. Shout out to her down there in uh, Houston doing her thing. I like I wear other people's merch all the time on my channel. I just I love doing it. You see me wear the Ithwich shirt, one of my favorite shirts ever. Um, I wear Dream Chasing Geo stuff. I got a swamp. Is it a Swamp Boys Garage shirt? I, I have shirts from different channels. I even have a couple of Randy's Auto Auction Rebuild shirts. So, I mean, I wear them all the time. Especially if I'm going out to Copart or working on cars. Or I just like to wear comfortable merch. Um, or comfortable shirts, I should say. Um, and unlike what I've seen from other people in the comments, I guess wearing a t-shirt and shorts 
that are not falling off your ass, but just wearing shorts and a t-shirt is dressing like a thug now. I'm not going to give that dude the pleasure of who it is, but I'm sure that they're a stalker and watch my videos. So, um, yeah, your racism is showing. Anyways, so we got a little bit of a drive to go. I'm going to listen to more, uh, some more of this Oliver Anthony. If you haven't heard it yet, go watch it. It has a great message. I fucks with it. You might not like it, and I don't care. Taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fun drowned. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground. Because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to. For people like me, for people like you, wish I could just wake up and it not be true. But it is. All it is. And then I don't think you know, but I know that you do. Cause your dollar ain't shit, and it's taxed to no end. Cause the rich men, no, the rich men. Next time on Dizzle in Motion. So I feel a spark. Sometimes I get higher than the... And yes, it's as bad as it looks. <laughs>